Chicken and Ham Cutlets Boil a young fowl with a good breast in clear stock. Take it out, let it get cold, cut the breast into rather thin slices. The bones, skin, and trimmings may be thrown back in the stock, which can be boiled down to make both the bechamel and aspic for the dish. See recipes, or be kept for other purposes. Take the slices of chicken and some very well-cooked lean ham that is cut so thin you can see the knife under the slices. Melt a little bechamel sauce that must be like blanc mange. Pour it on a plate, and before it has time to cool, cover the plate with the slices of chicken. Dip the ham into the stock, if it has been boiled down to jelly, otherwise into melted aspic. Lay the ham over the chicken, then more thin slices of chicken. Now cover the whole by means of a spoon with more bechamel. When all this sets, which, as your sauce has only been half melted, it will do quickly. You have a large white cake about half an inch thick. Cut this cake into small pieces, unless you have a cutlet cutter, as like a cutlet in form as possible, using a sharp penknife or boning knife. Take up each carefully, and with the end of a silver knife or small spoon, cover the edges with the bechamel sauce, which must be nearly set for this purpose. To garnish the cutlets, cut some tiny green leaves from pickled gherkins, and red ones from the skin of a red pepper pod and place two of each in the center of each cutlet. Star-shaped, a touch of white sauce will make them stick. Place a speck of parsley, not larger than a pin's head, in the center. Stick a tiny lobster claw three-quarters of an inch long at the narrow end of the cutlet, and place them in a silver dish round some aspic of a bright amber color, chopped. Put a very small sprig of parsley between each cutlet. 